Hi, this is Randy with Report Master Software. We're continuing the easy and fast documentation series. By popular demand, we're doing another segment on high tech versus low tech. What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to save time? Do you want to have better documentation? Do you want to handle insurance or Medicare? Do you want to impress attorneys? Do you want to get MDs to refer you patients? Well, consider what's being marketed out there in, in the systems that are being sold. Uh, there are a lot of bells and whistles. Many of the bells and whistles don't necessarily help a practice. Let me give you an example. Uh, a young woman worked in our office who had worked for a chiropractor locally who had a system with a lot of bells and whistles. Uh, one of the things was it took pictures of the patient so you could have the picture with the chart. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, another thing it did was it had a thumbprint check-in. They put their thumb on a little pad and they could check, the patient could check in that way. That, that sounds pretty interesting as well. And, and I like technology. Uh, but in actual practice, many of the patients didn't want their picture taken. In fact, uh, our assistant here said that a lot of the women didn't want their picture taken. And it was a little bit of an, ups an upset with them that the doctor was trying to take their picture. And as far as the thumbprint, a lot of the patients didn't like the thumbprint. They, they felt it was a little bit too intrusive. It was a little bit too much like Big Brother. Um, so there you have it. There are bells and whistles that won't necessarily help your practice. Uh, what about these little handheld PDAs? The complaint you'll hear from the doctors who, who've tried them is they're too small. It's too small a screen. You can't see it very well, and you can't fit much on it. Uh, they're not very powerful because it's not a real computer. It, it's, a, it's a handheld device. It won't, you have to upload and download it all the time to get the information onto your main system. How about wall-mounted touch screens? They're very expensive, and there are some, some liabilities there that you might not have even considered. Like, uh, last week a doctor was telling me that he had to turn away from the patient to enter data into the wall-mounted system. So, so the patient could, in fact, walk away thinking the doctor wasn't really in communication well enough with the patient because he's turning away from him. It's a liability. Uh, bubble forms. Systems that, it, that have bubble forms tend to be fairly inflexible, and also you've got to buy those bubble forms forever. Uh, tablet computers. Now, tablet computers work pretty well. Uh, they're mobile. The screen is big enough. Uh, you can be a wireless workstation, so this, the data you're entering on the tablet is going automatically into your main system. And uh, it's actually a very workable piece of technology. So, so what really works? Well, on the high-tech side, a tablet computer really is your best option. Now, if you don't want to go out and spend extra money, you could actually have a desktop or laptop right there in your treating area. Now, on the low-tech side, here's something you should consider. Let's say out of 100 patient visits, only 5 or 10 of those visits need to be typed up and sent somewhere. Well, you could have a simple form that you check off that fits you so it doesn't take any time, and you check it off while you see a patient. And then out of those 5 or 10 visits that need to be typed up and sent in, anybody can input those in 20 or 30 seconds. And of the uh, 90 or 95 visits that don't need to be typed up, you've already got the information on a form. Now, in the case of Report Master, our system is designed to go either way. You could actually use it on a tablet. It's designed to work beautifully on a tablet. Or you could actually just uh, uh, check off a form and uh, have, a, have a, any staff member input it. In fact, let me just show you here. Here we have the subjective part of a note. His first symptom is neck pain. His second is upper back. This button here uh, it says check here if the symptoms haven't changed. When I check this, it'll pull up the, what we had last visit. So now you see he was a 6 on the pain scale for his neck. It was having a serious effect on his activities. Upper back was a five, having some effect on activities. And the patient stated that she danced for 45 minutes without pain. So let's say the neck pain has improved a bit. It's now a five. Upper back has improved a lot. It's a four. And let's say she stated now that she was able to dance for 60 minutes without pain. So it's extremely easy to input whether you're doing it on a tablet computer or a desktop or laptop or if an assistant or you are checking it off directly from the form. So, so what I'd really like you to do is call in and let us give you a free online live demonstration. We can demonstrate this to you and show you how it works and show you whether or not it'll actually help your practice and uh, 
what we found is that in a live, demo, a live free demonstration, uh, we can actually show you how you'll do exactly what you would do with the system. In fact, we can customize it to your needs right there in front of you. So give us a call and let us give you a free demonstration.